Welcome to the University of Michigan Medical School Office of Research, Everything But the Science series, brought to you by the Grant Services and Analysis Office. These excerpts from our R01 Boot Camp Workshop are intended to assist faculty new to the NIH R series process think through best approaches to the administrative portions of grant submissions. So we wanted to talk a little bit about cover letters. Um, this is becoming a little bit more consistent, um, but there are certain things that can be covered in a cover letter, and there are many reasons not to submit a cover letter. So the cover letter itself, just so you know, is not shared with reviewers, um, but these are the six bullet points where NIH allows a cover letter to be used. Um, if you are asking for anything beyond these, um, you should not have a letter. Um, but we did have one, um, we were looking at one for a proposal sampler and in it, they had a video as part of the application. And so they did include that a very short statement on the letter. It does not have to be anything involved. It's being used by the Center for Scientific, Re um, the referral area to review. Um, I don't know that any of you will have the 500,000 threshold, but it's something to keep in mind through your career, probably not your first R01 out. Um, but if you are looking at asking for more than 500,000 per year or in any year of your application, you do have to have prior approval from the NIH to do that. Um, so there are these different reasons, um, late submissions, if you're sitting on a study section and have a, an authorization to go beyond the due date, all of those can be included. Um, what you do want to make sure that you're looking at and um, using in the 424 form set is the PHS assignment request form. Um, this is where in, historically we've done it in the cover letter and it's gone from there. It is now its separate form in the application set. And you want to list there any particular study section that you would like to ask or request that your application be sent to. Um, the Center for Scientific Review will take a look at that, evaluate that, and then if they can accommodate, they will send it forward to that study section. So this is something you might wanna to talk to your mentors, um, give a call to a program officer to see if they're interested in the type of research you're doing. Um, and that way you can help kind of guide it to where that study section for review. Thank you for watching this video. For additional tools and resources, please see our website under the training and resources section or by reaching out through email at msgrants at umich.edu.